I remember the explosion and then nothing. Nine days later, I became conscious and asked why it was always dark. I didn't realize then that I was blinded, my teeth were shattered, and that the cluster bomb had so badly damaged my hands that both were amputated. While my wife is working on the farm, I don't leave the house. I worry because I can't help my family. How will we pay for our children's school fees? This will be a long trip to Vientiane, more than 12 hours drive, but I really want to learn from Pongsavat. My name is Pongsavat. When I was 16 years old, I lost both hands and was blinded when a cluster bomb exploded. Many things that were once easy, such as eating, became impossible for me. After my accident, my wife and daughter fed me, but now I can feed myself. Now, during the day when my wife is farming and my children are at school, I can eat and drink by myself. Many of the things they had to relearn seem easy, like opening a water bottle. After the accident, I couldn't work on the farm to support my family. Farming is the major source of income in my village, and now I can't help my family and community. I was clearing new fields when I had my accident. I hit a cluster bomb with my machete. Now my wife works in the upland corn and rice fields. She also searches in the forest for food, such as bamboo shoots and mushrooms. My wife and I have two children, a nine-year-old daughter and a five-year-old son. Now our house is not connected to the electric grid, so it is hard for my children to study at night. Learning to use a watering can will allow me to contribute to my family's food supply by growing and caring for a garden. I practiced using my foot to find the base of the plant and then watering it. Then I move on to the next plant. I can now help with household responsibilities, such as helping my wife with the laundry.
Pongsavat taught me how to make mental maps, so now I can find the village water tap and collect water for washing our laundry. In the past, people in the village would help me. Now I can do it independently. I had constant pain in my eye. We went to the National Eye Center, where doctors removed five pieces of bomb shrapnel from my left eye. Pongsavat has helped me learn how to keep myself safe while I'm walking and don't have my walking cane. One arm covers my face, and the other sweeps in front of me so that I feel for trees or the stilts of the houses in my village. I have been afraid. I never left my house after the accident because my family and I were afraid I would get hurt. While I was in Vientiane learning with Pongsavat, we visited a Lao center for the blind, and I received a folding walking cane, which is more convenient than the bamboo pole that I had before. After two weeks working with Pongsavat, I returned home into my village. Pongsavat's training has given me the confidence to walk by myself to the river to bathe. I still need to learn to cook once my house is connected to the electric grid, and my children will be able to study at night. My personal independence has increased, which has lessened the burden on my family. Peer to peer support is very important, for without it, I never would have made the gains towards personal independence that I have.